Hi, my name is Ben Dannon. I am the Chief Technologist with Signal Edge Solutions. And I'd love to talk to you about Chiplify Designer and how it's impacting us and our workflow for our Chiplet customers uh, using this product from Kisa ADS. For those of you that aren't familiar with Chiplets, Chiplet is another way to build system on chips for advanced packaging solutions that are out there today. And here we're showing you an application for a die-to-die -die interconnect using Chiplet by Designer. In this case, this interconnect is set up to run a data rate of 16 gigatransfers per second or 16 gigabits per second. And it was really easy for us to set this interface up just using a simple point click and setting up our overall uh, interfaces and then selecting what signals we want to see in our probe and hitting simulate. Once we set up everything, all we had to do was move over to our data display to ultimately see what the overall waveform looks like. However, with chiplets today, you have to be more concerned with not just signal integrity, but also the power integrity. Chiplet interfaces today with the die to eye interconnect can range anywhere from uh, a few IO up to uh, 256 IO as per the UCIE standard. So for today's uh, demonstration today, we're gonna show you a UCIE bus with just 16 nets and show you how we have to worry about that bus when we make it power aware. So if we hit simulate and we run our simulation at 16 gigabits per second, you can see our 16 UCIE nets, uh, all for the data nets, which are all single ended nets uh, running on this die to die interface. And you can see our overall eye height and eye width here that we're demonstrating for one of the data eyes, RX data zero. So around 500, and 88 millivolts and 62.31 picoseconds for the width. Now, if we wanna make this a power aware simulation, it's really quite easy. We take the same setup with Chiplify Designer and we just added our PDN. So the same extraction that we used for SI Pro to do our interfaces for the die to die interconnect, we can now go over to PI Pro and extract our PDN for this package and overall assess how this package design and its optimized design nature is really set up for our overall chiplet application. So once we turn on our, our power components for each die and we connect our PDN to those respective die and enable the signals in our chiplet probe, it's really as easy as just hitting simulate all over again. And you can see once we hit simulate, we can see the overall simultaneous out, the effect of our simultaneous switching noise from those simultaneous switching outputs. And so if we were to scale this to the entire bus for this application, which is 256, here we're only showing you 16, you can really see the magnitude of what sort of impact we have to worry about. So really, Shiplify Designer allows us to really streamline our workflow. And if we look at that same eye that we just looked at a second ago, you can see our eye height reduced from uh, 588 millivolts to around 356 millivolts or about a 40% reduction in our eye height and our eye width changed by almost 10% where it reduced in total eye width by 10%. So with Chiplify Designer today, we've shown you how we can streamline our workflow while achieving a complete link analysis for complex die-to-die -die interconnect in Chiplet applications. This is a really powerful tool. Now, if you want to learn more about Keysight ADS's Chiplet 5 Designer and the new product launch, you can go to this website, which I'll put the link in the show notes, and you can learn more and sign up and get more information about this new product launch from Keysight. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and stay tuned for more.